everyone and today I want to show you a great tool that can help you provide an overview of some of the key literature that you can use for your literature review um, in literally minutes and this is through a tool called Paper Digest. So if you go to paperdigest.org or you search for it in Google it should take you to this page and then you just click on literature review and then you'll find a general page that has several options. Some of them are paid, so you might not need to use that. But in general, using the literature review feature is free. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the section here where it says write a review on. I'm going to enter computer and collaborative learning and higher education. And the reason I didn't add anything next to computers is because sometimes it's computer mediated, it's computer supported, just to keep it general to see what it will return and search. And then you'll see it's provided me a list of about 10 references of the related works and the summary of the literature that it has provided. So before we go into detail in terms of the actual content of the summary, what I want to do is I want to look at the authors that it's come back with. So I've got Alavi here, I've got Barker and colleagues, um, Roberts, Schellens, Weinberger, Fon, Hernandez-Celes, Corte, Bostock and Radkowicz. And so these are some of the authors that I've written. Now, if we head over to Scopus and we enter the same keyword, so I'm just going to put computer and I'm going to use the apostrophes here to uh, indicate collaborative learning just so that it returns it together and higher education. And I'm going to search within the abstract rather than searching um, in general. Um, and this is just so that I am getting the focused topics um, within the uh, articles and not just any mentioned words uh, throughout the article. So I'm going to search. And the next thing I'll do as well is I'm going to sort by the highest cited citations. And this is again because I'm looking for the seminal pa papers for my review. I want the most influential papers. Um, and then I can dig deeper later on for the more modern um, latest issues. But for now, for the overview, I want to be looking at the um, most cited papers. So let's look at the authors and let's see who it's returned. So just remind ourselves with the uh, authors. Yeah, Lavi's the first one. And again, we've seen that in uh, Scopus. We have Weinberger as well. Let me just check. Yep, it was mentioned here. Um, we have Hernandez Zeles. So it's actually done quite a good job. We've got Radkowicz. So on the first paper alone, I can see at least five of the key highly cited influential papers on that topic, um, as was given through Paper Digest. Now, if we look at the details of the, the information that's been given, we can see that Malabi is one of the seminal papers, and it started off with that, which is really good to know that it's using uh, highly cited papers. It's gone off on a bit of a tangent, in terms of the work with Barker, I wouldn't have included that in the general first return of a literature review, but it's interesting. It's something that you could explore later on. Um, we supported collaborative learning in higher education. Again, this is very relevant and it's uh, given me the study uh, on Roberts as well. In, in terms of how the online group work differs from the face-to-face -face group work, which could be really interesting to build on. So I would say, and as we've seen very accurately, that Paper Digest would give you about 50% of the relevant sources that you might need initially to start off your literature review. And then you can use that to build on. You can then go back to the keywords and then add other words that might be relevant to your literature review to get a, a different set of sources, but as something that can give you um, the top sources very quickly and efficiently to allow you to build on. I find that this is quite a useful uh, tool and I would definitely be using it to kickstart my paper research. So do let me know if you found this useful. Always interested to hear your comments and I'll see you in the next video.